Let's see how we can set up and install NLTK and create NLTK projects in Visual Studio Code. First, let's create a project folder. Let's call it NLTK project. In this folder, we will create our NLTK project. So let's open Visual Studio. And now let's open that folder here. Open folder. And select this folder. Now in this folder, let's create a main file and let's try to import NLTK. So as you can see, I'm getting a warning NLTK is not accessed. It means NLTK is not yet installed. So what you can do is you can go to terminal, create a new terminal and type install, sorry, pip install NLTK. Now, if you get an error message when you run this command that says pip not found or pip not installed or something like that, then you will need to install pip. Check the first link. Check the first link in the description. They will show you how to install pip. After you've installed that, you can run this command like this. Also, one more thing to note is that this now requires Python 3.7 or greater. So I'm running on Python 3.10. So if you have Python version that is less than 3.7, you will have to upgrade your Python version. Okay, so now NLTK is installed. So now I can go here and let me just paste an NLTK project and let's try to run this. I can run this by clicking this button here, but it will need Code Runner extension installed. So you might not have this. If you don't have this, you can just go to run and you can run without debugging and let's see if this works or not. So it is saying NLTK is not found. So what I can do is I can restart Visual Studio because I just installed it. Right, so I can close it and I can open Visual Studio Code again. I'm still getting this error. So what can be the issue is, let's try to run this. And if I click on run without debugging and you will see here, okay, it is correct. So let's see if it is installed or not by typing Python M and a TK version this will show which version of NLTK is installed so it is saying no model named NLTK so let's try to install it again okay so it is using python 3.1.1 here let's try to change our compiler here let's try to use python 3.1.1 itself and let's see so our python 3.1.1 has NLTK installed now let's try to run this and as you can see it has now run successfully but it is showing that we need to install this thing also so to download this you just need to add import nltk and then you need to download that using nltk like this so now you know how you can install nltk and how you can change your python version that is being used And now after downloading this, you can see this is printed. So good luck with your NLTK project. I mean, let me know if you have any questions.